Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Vancouver adjacent by night, which is our Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition. Let me just grab that for you. That's one of these. It is not the Vampire the Masquerade 2nd edition, which is over there somewhere on a shelf that I really feel don't feel like getting right now. Uh, this is the C team, I want to say, because everybody <laughs> kind of has a C in their name, which is really confusing. We're the A team right. in our hearts. Yeah. <laughs> and the C team in practice. <laughs> <laughs> and we joke around a lot as well. Just thought I'd get that out of the way. Uh, just so everybody knows, this is a mature game. It's rated M for mature. I myself am not mature. That, yeah, I giggle like a 13 year old when somebody says penis, but you know, there's going to be a lot of not great <laughs> language that's going to come around. Uh, yeah, and we will introduce everybody to our vampires on the level up dice, starting with Brennan Williams. Starting with me. Hi, I'm Brennan. Um, I will be playing Charlotte Ardennes, the uh, Ventru capitalist. Who has a new job. Who has a new job, yeah. We're moving on up. And next, we'll slide it right on over to Zach. Hey there, I'm Zachary Vaudo. I'll be playing the Malkavian Charlie Lawrence, the extremely worried statistician of this group. Who also has a new job. <laughs> uh, next up is Samantha. Hi, uh, I'm Samantha. McLordy, and I will be playing Elena Cortez, the uh, La Sombra, who is apparently now chief of security. Sure, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Social engineering. Everybody's got new jobs. That's all I'm saying. I just, you know, it's almost like I planned it that way. And uh, Patrick, down to you. Hello, I'm Patrick Gill, and I will be playing Harley, the Nosferatu, who is uh, Chief Technical Officer and currently playing a uh, great value, Jason Bourne. <laughs> when last we saw him, he was <laughs> flinging tenaciously to the top of a van heading towards North Van. But we'll get into that in just a sec. Next up is Lex. Hi, I'm Lex. Uh, I'll be playing Cassandra, your Toreador, who's still not sure why she's here, but is on for the ride. I, I know why she's here. Also, we have a quick announcement. Uh, Level Up Dice is going to be going under a rebrand on the Twitch, which will no longer be Level Up Dice, Twitch whatever Level Up Dice. Uh, it will be twitch.tv backslash Level Up TTV uh, that starts on Monday the 16th so uh, if anybody has any subscriptions etc it'll all carry over it's fine they're just changing up the URL a little bit and uh, yeah so you don't end up in the level up dice twitch thing wondering where the fuck everybody is next week you can you can find us there so uh, I think is it possible that we could throw that up in the old chat? Because, I don't know. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and I'm Steve the Storyteller. I run not only this game, but the other Vancouver by Night, which happens tomorrow at the exact same time. So you get not one, but two Vancouver by Nights per week right now, which is awesome. And we are pretty much ready to begin. So when last we saw our intrepid C team, but it's the A team because it's Alexander Industries mm -hmm. that, that they took over. So that's a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> it's like it's like the X-Men, Professor Xavier, only it's Alexander Industries. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte was put in charge of that, newly being named the Venture Whip. Uh, by Victor Davenport, who went back down to his casino uh, and leaving uh, Charlotte up here to up here in the gas townish slash business area to keep an eye on the bigger business of Alexander Industries for him, not wanting that to 
fall prey to any corporate espionage or having it slide out of the hands of the Venture clan itself, Charlotte organized the team of coterie that is uh, that you see before you, uh, giving them all various business opportunities, and then they were attacked, speaking of corporate espionage, by people jumping in the window with tactical gear trying to kill them. After dispatching that, uh, they wanted to find out where exactly these particular tactical geared people were going, and that somehow resulted in Harley ending up on the top of a van, hurling towards North Van. So, you know, shit happens. Someone's got to do it. And then by the end of the episode, uh, the rest of the Coterie ended up back at Alexander Industries and ushered into a meeting by their secretary uh, with some rather interesting characters. And that is where we will start off this particular episode. So everybody is still at the same hunger they were at before. And uh, you walk into boardroom two and you see a gentleman sitting down beside behind one of the, you know, uh, the furthest uh, seat that he could possibly get from the door. And he has black hair. He's kind of very almost supernaturally thin. Uh, and he is wearing a absolutely Im immaculate, very, very expensive business suit. Beside him stands a woman with short blonde hair who is holding a clipboard. Looks like she's going over notes. And on the other side, on the left side of him, is a nine foot tall, mishapen, angry looking, green goo slobbering, just massive furry anger machine. I was hoping you'd stop at furry. <laughs> no. I, am, I immediately just command Florence, like, sit, stay. <laughs> Florence, uh, who is your uh, Bond familias, mm -hmm. he does exactly what you say. Sits, stays, doesn't go anywhere. And that's about all I do, because I'm just, like, staring at this giant fucking wolf in the boardroom. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Charlotte walks in and then she kind of, uh, oops, looks like we found the wrong meeting hall. Uh, everybody, we can go. Start backing out. <laughs> uh, your, your secretary comes running up. She's like, no, 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 this is the right one. This is the right one. Yeah, it's fine. Does, does it have to be the right one? Or... Are, you, are you sure? Uh, this is the... I'm with them. Does it have to be the right one? This is the two o'clock Pentex meeting, isn't it? I don't know, is it? And I'll just look at the other, like the human people. Is it? Is this what? Is this what we're doing now? Or, and the gentleman in the expensive suit is looking at you like, is there a problem? No, no problem at all. <laughs> Everybody, let's have a seat. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I'll just I'll pat Florence on the head and walk away from the wolf just sit like maybe like middle of the table not like okay. not like give other people the option to be further away from the wolf but the the entire time florence is kind of it florence is very much listening to your commands and doing exactly what you say but at the same time you definitely get a sense of unease from florence like looking at the werewolf and then looking at you same and looking at the werewolf and it's mutual. You. It's <laughs> mutual. Awesome. So the rest of you basically see uh, Charlie looking at his dog, and then they both look at the werewolf, and then looking at each other, and then looking at the werewolf. And then just walk <laughs> towards the seat. I will follow suit. I'm going to kill Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I was expecting, uh, 
what was his name again? And he looks up at the the blonde lady and she doesn't look away from her notes. She just like utters as if she's annoyed, like Alexander Devonshire. Yes, Mr. Devonshire. I was expecting Mr. Devonshire. Are you? Yes, he's actually been uh, displaced. I am his replacement. Hmm. Corporate espionage being what it is. That's understandable. We are here to discuss the funding of our program. Of course, that program being, sorry, I literally just got here this morning. Right. Uh, it's, it's Operation Corn. We like corn, right? I mean, I, I, I did when I was alive. I like the concept Does that of count? corn. Starchy. So since you are now in charge, and I'm assuming you're all of the, let's just say, not food eating variety. It's been a minute. Right. So I know the the whole vampire thing is probably new to a bunch of you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Not really. No, <laughs> not not very new. New is relative. Right. Anyway. We have been working with Alexander Industries on, uh, oh man, it's, uh, how long has it been? And he looks up and she is definitely kind of palpably annoyed at this point, like two years. Right, two years. Thank you, Miriam. Uh, and we are trying to, trying to make the mortals more, let's just say, more compliant is the best term I could probably come up with for you. Okay, and how do you intend to do that? <laughs> Genetic engineering. Oh, you're one of those. I see. Um, how are you going to skirt around the ethical issues of that? <laughs> You're new here. There are no ethical issues around that. Not for us anyway. So how do you intend to genetically engineer these foodstuffs? Science. Oh, do we have any uh, science people here? No, the closest thing we have is on a car. Essentially, what we're going to be doing, uh, we came here to discuss how far along it's come with you and to secure our next bit of funding because we are about to go live on, uh, where was it again, Miriam? Spuzzum. Right, Spuzzum. There's a community named Spuzzum that we're about to go live on the genetic engineering, we're going to feed their local food sources and make sure that they're a lot more compliant than they used to be. Well, as soon as he starts talking about funding, then Charlotte feels much better because this is much more her wheelhouse. <laughs> so she kind of like sits back and cracks her knuckles and is like, okay, let's talk. Uh, we're going to need approximately $300 million. $300 million. That is a lot of money. Um, what do we expect to see on an investment return on this? Well, I've heard that some of you actually have powers in which you actually, uh, you need the mortals to be a little bit more compliant. This actually bends their will before you even get a chance to get a hold of them. That would be convenient. And innovations in food technologies always do bring in a hefty sum of money. Exactly. And what was the previous arrangement with my predecessor? 
the, your predecessor has already funded a good chunk of it. What we need to do is go into phase three, which will be the live results. Oh, so you'll actually have something to show us then. Hmm. I see. So far, and he motions to Miriam to show you, and she actually hits a button, and she picked up one of the remotes that you've seen along a bunch of the boardrooms, and the screen comes down on the one side of the boardroom, and it shows a bunch of graphs and charts, something that Charlie probably is very interested in, uh, showing like different uh, genetic testing and different as you can see, our tests so far have been very, very successful. Those do look good. Charlie, do those look good? Hey, Storyteller, based on my knowledge of statistics, how shit does their sample size look? <laughs> their sample size is fucking horrible. OK. <laughs> cool. Um, let me do a quick willpower roll. OK. Yeah, I'm okay. It's a very good start. Uh, I These numbers look very good, the way that they are presented on this board. Uh, obviously, the more, stat the more statistics that we have, the better. Uh, gives a much better sense of success rates, uh, random sampling, things like that. But this looks like a very good start to your testing and your number recording. That's why we're going to phase three. Mm. Yes. Uh, do, do, do you think maybe a phase 2.5 might be a bit, <laughs> a bit too much? We do not. OK. OK. I'm, I like making sure all the data is collate and test it out properly obviously uh oh but... that's totally understandable it's 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 very understandable mm. that is actually a good point we are going through some growing pains here and um while we're very impressed with the numbers you've presented uh i wouldn't mind if our numbers guys got a little bit of a better feel for the um statistics understandable mm. Uh, Although I see no reason why after further proving the numbers, we can go forward working together with that 300 million. Understandable. Uh, Miriam, can you make sure that they get all the numbers that they require? And she's still looking down at the sheet like, yes, sir. Excellent. And he stands up. It will be a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, are the email addresses all still the same? Uh, I don't see why they would have changed. All right. I will make sure that Miriam sends all the information required to the appropriate email addresses. And he walks over, trailed by the other two. And uh, for Charlie, did you sit on the side of the table that's closest to the door? Or were you making sure that if they had to leave, that they would be not near you. I sat on the side of the table that put me as far away from the big bad wolf as I could possibly get. <laughs> Understandable. If okay. that means they have to walk past me, then so be it. But that's where <laughs> I went. <laughs> uh, they would not probably okay. in this case. Yeah, you, you probably would have sat yourself on the section that if they had to leave first, which you're probably assuming that they would have, that they wouldn't actually like brush up against you or anything or accidentally slobbered green goo on you. Uh, and they, he extends his hand to Charlotte. And she shakes his hand. All right. Uh, we will be in contact. Uh, we are hoping to go to phase three in a little less than a month. I look forward to your progress. And if I might add a suggestion, I don't know anything about food production, but maybe consider a pre-caffeinated human. I would buy it. Hmm. That is an interesting suggestion. Miriam, make a note. <laughs> Miriam scribbles it down. All right, we will uh, see ourselves out from here. I believe uh, uh, your secretary will be able to uh, make sure that uh, our friend here 
he's a little touchy his name is james he you know doesn't quite go out of that particular form as much as he should yeah we also have a dog mine's bigger well it's not a dog measuring contest touche <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, they they leave, and through the boardroom, the boardroom door is about eight feet, uh, and James, the giant Krenos foreign werewolf, kind of turns, and you can tell it's kind of accidental, but he basically face plants, but he face plants through the door frame, like the door frame kind of explodes out. Well, you, we were already hear, had repairmen coming, so you hear the other gentleman go, James. I told you to duck, <laughs> and they finish walking out to the elevator, which makes kind of an audible groan when James gets onto it. Like it just kind of. I feel like that puppy needs to go to the vet. Elevators are not max weight rated for Krenos form werewolves. Well, that went well. It did. I, I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that. It's bad enough that they're fudging uh, all other numbers on their on their graphs, but that was that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. Um, I I would agree with the Charlie that the perhaps a bit of a warning would have been appropriate. I don't think that they were expecting us anyway, so it may, 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 maybe that's how the previous owner dealt with them with a show and tell of a giant wolf. But they weren't expecting us, and we weren't expecting them, and that made the probability of things going off the rails very, very high. But it That's didn't. a good point. They might be equally afraid of us going, talking on that elevator right now. No, I meant just not expecting us. They, that thing could have eaten all of us and then still been hungry. Uh, I hope you do not mind me saying this, but I'm pretty sure they're not very much afraid of us, actually. Not at all. That is no, a big assumption. You. <laughs> could be. We could be very scary. They don't know. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. sure. Very scary. You're terrifying. Really. Promise. Yeah, I if I could pee, I would have. Uh, for Charlie, can I get a, let's go with a wits and investigation roll. Yeah, I can do that. I rest my case. Uh, that is four successes. Four successes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you kind of glance back at the numbers, which were still up on the screen, uh, they didn't actually take them down. Mm -hmm. These numbers are not right at all. Like they, the the closer you look at them, the more problems you're seeing. Like, does it look like more than just a uh, poor sample size? Does it look like the numbers are just like fucking made up at this point? Or uh, it looks like there's stuff that's happening with these particular numbers, like with how compliant the humans are becoming, mm -hmm. that just don't actually make any sense like scientifically mm -hmm. as, as your scientific brain kind of clicks in uh you basically are like th there's no way that if you feed somebody corn that presence would work better like it doesn't make any sense and on top of the, the really 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 muddy muddy graph numbers like i I don't know a mathematical way to test our abilities against uh, people that are under any kind of an influence, uh, especially not like this, especially not with this kind of success rate. So I, uh, I don't know if more testing from them would yield a better sample size for better results, or if they just picked a bunch of numbers off of a lottery and put them on a chart. Uh, but either way, uh, this is... This is this is bullshit. So well, what you're I'm... saying is that they are just full of shit. They're full of shit. Well, Understood. I'm glad we didn't rush headlong in. They're full of I was shit. looking forward to the caffeinated people, though. I I I, I mean, they, they they have giant giant 
Wolf, for all I know, they can do different things and have different testing. But uh, as far as helping us, this doesn't make sense to me. Does this kind of fall in line with the other bad business decisions that our previous owners have made? Storyteller, based on what I was reading earlier? Uh, yeah, it kind of, yeah. It, it's starting to sort of line up in Charlie's brain, mm -hmm. like as to what certain projects may have been. Yeah, I, 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 um, think, I think I found where, where the thousand dollar screwdriver went. <laughs> Um, Charlotte, if I may, um, if you're wanting a precavenated person, perhaps try the Starbucks. Oh yeah, that's... any other coffee shop. They are very. Have to pay for them. Yeah. No, but I'd like them like delivered. That's what I'm thinking. More of like more like a a prepackaged delivery system of caffeinated uh, college graduates. You can order people to deliver your coffee yes oh and because they won't have good jobs in this market they're probably working at starbucks i figured they were just drinking energy drinks to stay awake either or what they would work to see problem solved no need to spend what was it three million dollars is what they're wanting and we don't need to be near the giant wolf i like it great 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 300 million yeah no um oh. 300 million, be... even better. Who's going to be the one to tell them no thank you? Not it. No offense, but you're kind of really good with um, uh, persuading people and charming and all that stuff. So maybe you should do it. Absolutely, if they don't bring the giant wolf. If they don't bring the giant wolf. I think we can figure Agreed. it out. Agreed. I will be your security then, so long as they don't bring the giant wolf. No giant wolf. <laughs> Actually, I look at this whole thing as a big opportunity because the old regime did such a bad job. We're going to look great in comparison. Um, yeah, 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 totally, totally, totally. As long um, as we don't die by the big giant wolf. The, okay. big, the big giant wolf. Million dollars. And assuming that, you know, the previous people weren't just a, a shell company for a bunch of money funneling that accounted for really shady numbers and low finances surely they would have told me that no surely yes odds are very high <laughs> i'm lying just now that we've discovered that charlotte has way more faith in the venture clan than the rest of us do <laughs> we're gonna slide it slightly over to uh patrick up in north van uh fuck fuck, fuck. this was <laughs> fuck <laughs> hanging out uh, of the roof of the van <laughs> after it drives for a while uh, it starts to slow down and pull into kind of a strip mall location alright I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my position if the van comes to a stop I'm just going to hang here and I'm going to observe as much as I can for the time being uh, you notice the one particular person that was in the driver's seat. He gets out and he walks over to a, like, looks like it's a closed down Swiss chalet. Okay. And he goes inside, basically. Leaving, no, no wait, the, the guy who was riding shotgun got sent for a walk too, correct? Yeah, he, he took a walk as well. All right, I'm going to try to get off the top of the van without breaking off you skate and get closer to the uh, the entry of the uh, Swiss chalet for a Dex and athletics. Okay. Uh, With newly acquired athletics. Yes. Four successes. Four successes. Nice. Is it crit as well or? Nope. Nope. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're able to kind of slide off the back of the van or the top of the van and uh, make your way over towards the entrance of the Swiss chalet. Okay. Well, opening the door is going to uh, cause a problem here so I'm just going to hang out and observe try to listen as close as I can 
to what's going on. Uh, give me wits and awareness. Okay. This dice pool, not so good. All right. Uh, failed. Like just hard, a, hard failed or just regular failed? Just regular failed. Okay. Uh, it takes you a couple of seconds. You can't really hear anything. Um, as you lean a bit closer, you notice that there's like a, a keypad on the door, which seems odd for a closed Swiss chalet to have electronic security system that's that advanced. Mm. I'm going to step away from the door, check my phone, and... Uh, you see the text messages that came um, fast and furious as the last episode. Um, I text Charlotte back first with a thumbs up, and um, I text Charlie back uh, with a uh, thumbs up and also... Uh, some extra text there saying, never let me do that again. And I'm going to probably, uh, I'm going to go around to the back of the van, take a picture of the plates, take a picture of the storefront with my phone, and I'm going to get the hell out of Dodge as quickly as possible. If, okay. I, if I if I have to walk a couple of blocks and then get an Uber or whatever, that's going to probably be the best option. Okay. Uh, so we will fast forward that particular section. Mm -hmm. uh, and since they were driving pretty much at the beginning of the meeting, um, we're going to have... Uh, Harley make it back to Alexander Industries at about the time the meeting ended. Okay, do I uh, run into the Pentex people in the lobby? You do not. Okay. Because they're not going through the lobby. <laughs> oh. All right. Seems, I'll... seems like kind of a bad place to have a giant slobbering Krenos. Every True. place is. <laughs> All right. Um... That's fair. When I get into the lobby, um, I text uh, Charlie, I'm back on my way up. See you in two and get in the elevator. Use I'm, I, I did get issued one of those key cards, correct? Yes. Okay. Use that to get up to the penthouse or the boardroom, wherever. Yeah. The yeah. 13th floor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll fast forward that a little bit and have Harley come out of the elevator. He's alive. Good. Elena is going to walk over to him immediately and she's just going to be like, do you have any idea what you have gotten me into? Um, no. Uh, and I'm looking at the door frame. Yeah. Exactly. Do you uh -oh. see this? Do you know what that was? Uh, no, I don't. That was the um, um the the nasty looking Garu little wolf thingies. Uh, what were they called again? It was a wolf. Uh, it was a really big fucking werewolf. <laughs> close enough. There, there you go. It was one of those things. That is what I have just spent my time in a room with. You said this would be easy. Not so easy now. He came for the board meeting. I didn't say it was going to be easy. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to him. I'm just shifting the blame. Hey, look, we'll, we'll talk about this at my place later. Okay. And where were you? Um, getting some intel, unfortunately. Um, Does although... it to take a nighttime drive? Um, did, it's actually kind of interesting with the werewolf. I was actually just going to ask you if you'd ever seen the movie Teen Wolf. But Are they married? We, I, I look at Charlotte, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think so. They feel no, married, of course not. We, we, we go back a ways, but no, 
I don't think so. You would have you would have told me. You would have told me, right? Yes. You would have told me. Yes. And um, I would have told you too if it's any consolation. I feel strangely better about that. <laughs> but all right. So, anyways, the the van went to North Van to an abandoned Swiss chalet from the looks of it. Um, this is something that we're probably going to have to look into later, obviously, but for it being abandoned, there was a security keypad on the front door. And, and you went into the matrix and hacked it. No. Um, no, that's for later. Yes. Yes, I, I I know when to quit when I'm ahead, fortunately. And this, I, I, we, we at least have a lead to work with in figuring out where exactly those goons came from or who's hiring them. I really don't think that Alexander is still alive, that it's impossible. I've heard stories, but seeing as who was involved, maybe I, whatever, look. Well, then who are they trying to kill me for? Ma'am, I think you've been set up. Yeah, I'm starting to think I've been set up too. Well, add it to the list of pile or the pile of problems that we already have. We've got a company to get out of the dirt. Um, I would just like to point out one little bitty teensy winty tiny little thing. Mm -hmm. Um, my price just went up a bit. You'll have it. <laughs> Don't even tell me how Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Mm. Um, just give me access to your bank account, and this will be all good. No worries. Oh, I so can't don't do have that, but I'll give you a bunch of money. Point point of order: uh, If you're being set up by running this company that we are all in now, which means now that we're all set up, even though we weren't supposed to be set up, uh, do, why, why do you want to pull this company up by its bootstraps when this might be the company that set you up? Because I'm not going to have a bad company to my name. I don't care if it's a setup. Okay, so you're going to solve the setup and also take the money. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. That's why I'm here anyway. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, Charlie. It'll be all right. Mm, no, I protect you, remember? Mm, no, you don't. <laughs> I, I kind of I look over... Uh, to Cassandra. So, is it as bad as everyone else is saying? Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Okay. What did I they miss? They want $300 million based on fake data and a big werewolf. Well, the, the werewolf, I mean, some people get held up at gunpoint. Some people get held up at werewolf point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what was happening here. I don't think they were asking for it that. It felt money. like a it felt like a gun on the table. His name was James. Oh, yes, important. His name was James. They have okay, they have names. He, okay. He's a bit clumsy as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they brought not, James the clumsy werewolf. I spooked him so not, bad he hit his head on the ceiling. Like a stormtrooper. Remember you told me about that. Oh yeah, the the Star Wars thing. You printed the, out the yep. picture thingy and you showed me it. Yeah, that's, that's, that was a meme, yeah. <laughs> I don't but, know. So, uh, what, so what do they want the 300 million for? Corn. Uh, corn. 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 Is mm -hmm. special corn? That's they, what they said. They said that it was special corn. They said that they would genetically modify the corn and it would make people compliant and all their data was supposed to show that except the data was, and I was, I'll just point out it because it's on the board, data is garbage uh so i don't know what their corn is actually doing or if that's why they need 300 million dollars but 
but we didn't agree to it yet. Mm-hmm. So there's three hundred million dollars for you guys. I, I, I don't can't. think that's how saving companies works. I don't. Think I that's don't. How I don't giant think so either. Work. Um, and I don't think that Charlie's going to fight a giant werewolf for his cut of these three hundred million dollars. Um, no, I'm going to go to Quebec. <laughs> I, I, I can't, in good conscience, condone going forward with this at all. I, I don't think that we should necessarily go forward with it, but I'm also not about to go fuck you two with the big werewolf. Maybe we just stole them for a really long time. That, I, mean, I like that. They That's have good. to send all this data. You're going to have to go through it piece by piece. Mm-hmm. I mean, I companies mean, have this happen comes, all the time. Worst comes to worst, we all just go into hiding. There and is plan B. also that. There's that, yes, backup plan. It's not that hard, I promise. You are. Mm, it's kind of like when a turtle goes into its shell and says, guys, it's not that bright outside. It's, mm-hmm. it's not really comparable with the hiding and the shadow. And the... How long do we have before they want the money? Didn't give us a date. So I take that as forever. They also yeah. they also agreed to further testing to round out their sample size. Mm-hmm. So there's that. I don't know if their sample size will ever be good, uh, so long as they keep you know uh, just spinning the bingo machine to get numbers to put on the board. But that's, that's time too. I. The... Okay. All right. I, 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 I'm I, still not a fan of them doing shit to people, but if it's going to buy us a little bit of time to get a better grasp on the situation, then we do what we have to do, but just know that I'm, ma'am, I'm going to, I'm going to have to make this a priority. That's fair. Uh, to be honest, at this point, I feel like they might just be running their scheme out of a warehouse downtown. But um, we've got time, and we can figure it out. To the, the storyteller, have I heard of Pentex before? Uh, that would be like a wits and awareness, I want to say. That's two successes two successes uh you've heard of them but you don't know of any of the shady yeah supernatural shenanigans that they're Mm -hmm. up to okay well pentex they're a relatively big company they're they're not going to be operating out of a warehouse they probably have an office building an entire office building to themselves they're the warehouse that you're mentioning that's probably where they're doing this shit at are you suggesting we do some corporate espionage yes on top of everything else well our plates are full (laughs) no shit will the will, will 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 the espionage be away from the wolf probably not if you're a good spy, then you won't get caught by the wolf. I'll, this is true. I'll handle the initial legwork for Pentex. He'll handle the wolf. You heard that. But I heard. That makes uh, sense. I'm, I'm not. As soon as I see the fucking thing, I'm probably going to just take off, to be perfectly honest. But I'll do what I can. That would keep it way. occupied. True, but now I, I I will go about this a lot smarter than what I did with the hit squad. I promise you that. I I I might actually have an idea that maybe maybe might save us some time. Storyteller, is the sec is that secretary still like in this area, or she like walked completely out? 
Uh, she she has like kind of a desk that's near the the elevator. Okay, I'm just gonna like we like roll each chair out into the hallway, <laughs> <laughs> and like just I and and because I've forgotten her name both in and out of character, I'm just gonna like just wave at her until she looks at me. That's Sandra. Names. <laughs> Sandra. Hi. Uh, do, do do we have files on the people that were just here? Like the previous dealings and things like that, records. Uh, the Pentex files, yes. Yes. The, you you will be able to find those in the computer system. Okay, great. And I'll wheel each chair back into the boardroom and go. <laughs> Harley, you can look up everything about the company that this company had in the computer. Uh, yeah. Just just so everybody knows, uh, this office, like building itself, is massive, and this is an entire floor. So he had he had to wheel. Like a good hundred meters. I had time. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Just slowly <laughs> kicking his feet. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Half halfway through the way back, I realized that I should have gotten Florence to just pull me. <laughs> but I just keep at it. Um, I would like and to since... point out that the entire time that we are sitting in this room and we are talking to Harley, once he starts volunteering himself for stuff. Elena just has a deadpan, just glaring at him like, are you fucking kidding me? And we'll talk about this later. Okay. Yeah, and damn right, we are going to talk about this later. Two maybe points they of are married. I, maybe. He's going to be sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> Two points of note. Uh, Florence, <laughs> since you told Florence to stay where they were they stayed where they were and they're just watching you roll mm -hmm. 100 meters <laughs> as a storyteller this is the first time i've ever had a coterie basically do the not it when you know dealing with <laughs> werewolves so it's that. an efficient system yeah <laughs> i won you that by default alive. <laughs> but you can Harley, you can look up all the files on the company that this company had, uh, and then maybe you don't have to go into the warehouse with the scary boss battle. That will at least give me a nice head start. I, 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 I fully intend on getting as much information in everyone's hands as I possibly can when it comes to Pentex, but we've also got the Alexander connection. And I'm going to do what I can to prioritize my runtime. So I, I highly doubt that I'm going to get lucky and the two are going to be connected. But it's the Camarilla. Who knows? Hmm. She said that all the emails are still the same with the same password. So you probably have to change those. Oh, oh, most definitely. I've actually got a laundry list for Sandra, ma'am, when she has time. We have somebody else for laundry. Yes. Check, check, I, check checklist. Yes. Um, just, just n never mind, Charlotte. You do what you need to do. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Mm hmm. Hmm. Just gonna wheel, like just more for like further into the room, <laughs> back to my spot. Well, if if there's a terminal nearby, I'm definitely going to at least start working on accessing the Pentex stuff. All right, uh, let's pull up our least character sheet here. Ooh. Are you going to try kind of hacking into it? Yes, I think I'm going to because more than likely <laughs> these are highly encrypted files that no random temp is going to be able to access. That would be your specialty. So let's go with an int and technology with the specialty of hacking, which is a boatload of dice. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, have you by any chance managed to check out the rest of this building since you've acquired it? I haven't. I've been quite busy. Would you like right. to accompany me? Might as well. And uh, that is what at least uh, that is what we will be doing, I suppose. And I'm going to go with them. Okay. Fantastic. I'm just going to look at Harley as we go out and she's like, 
This is not over. Even if I die, it is not over. And you and I, later, we are going to talk. Yes, I, I know I'm not getting out of this one. Yes, I know. Nope. And I continue out. Watching everybody go this way, <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to pat Florence on the head to come with me, and they'll just follow behind the group that's walking around the building, because I'm not going to be doing computer things. OK. Uh, will you be going like up in the building, down in the building, asking Sandra where? You're going in the building. Um, I just intend specifically to just uh, if there's a door, I'm gonna try to open it. Like just, any, I'm just I'm gonna I wander am a, around. Exactly, yeah. you know, like uh, <laughs> wandering. Like when you go to new like places and stuff like that, and you're allowed, you just kind of wander. Let's see how many bathrooms see there what are. Happens <laughs> or closets in your case. <laughs> On this floor, surprisingly, there's no washrooms. Or unsurprisingly, considering it's mostly vampires that, that are make, here. That makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for this particular floor, it's pretty much completely clear. Like, there's boardrooms, and there's, you know, different areas. There's You open the one door, and it's like a block of, like, computer servers. Uh, it's basically just kind of seems like a regular run-of-the-mill office. All right. So that and that's just on this floor is what you said, or uh, that's just this floor, yeah. Okay, next floor. Pick a number. Are we going? Are we going up or down? Which way did I the suppose wolf go? up? Let's up go up. Let's go up. That is a good idea. Let's mm -hmm. go up. Are you are you informing Harley of any of this going on? <laughs> Harley is. I think so. Harley is. Uh, Harley is actually in a spot of trouble right now. <laughs> so. Oh dear. Oh. How did you be in trouble? You rolled like nine dice. Um, okay. Well, I, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> see, the, 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 the problem with the law of averages, however, the, the more dice you roll, the more opportunities you get one, to roll. One, 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 one. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So I've got nine 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 zero zero on my regular dice and then i've got a 10 on my hunger as well so you mess, we you gotta, messy crit on, gotta, on we got a messy crit with a shitload of successes so you hit two tens outside of the messy crit yep see i'm a bit different of a storyteller as you know if you if you have more than a crit on your own it's fine don't worry about it thank you because okay. what would yeah. messy crit on hacking even look like would it be like that scene from ncis where there's like three people on a keyboard yeah everything's <laughs> just like enhance 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 so uh four five six seven eight successes then eight successes yeah mm -hmm. this is child's play like whoever set up these computers was like bushly like you're just, you're just like yeah okay i've seen this before this person did this and you like it's it's kind of like that scene from Hackers where it's like all the flashy things come mm -hmm. up. And yeah, everybody else is looking at you just like type at about 120 words per minute. Uh, and you're easily able to access the files. And this is a lot of where the, you know, thousand dollar screwdrivers and such disappeared to. Um, I'm gonna pull out a flash drive that I've got in my pocket and pop it into the terminal and this entire file directory is now mine it is going on the flash drive so you're gonna wipe everything else oh no no it's staying on the server but i'm making a copy okay yeah, yeah. it's easy enough to do yeah and i think i've just uh added to uh charlie's gainful employment for the next uh couple of days <laughs> oh yeah um while everybody, while you're doing that, everybody else is going up to the 14th floor. Yep. While so, walking, while we're walking, I'll just like I'll just I'll saddle up next to Cassandra. And be like, you seem a lot more in the zone with uh with all of this than I I remember. I mean, people grow up, things change. 
Yeah, I, I was getting worried because I haven't seen you in a while and Florence got kind of weird when you showed up, but then you were just, you know, right there towards the van and you didn't even blink with the big, big murder dog. So seems like you're doing good. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing really good. That's good. That's Things good. are good. I'm good. That's good. I'm really glad to hear that. Do I believe that at all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go with Great. like a wits and awareness. I was about to say insight check, but then I realized that I'm pretty Rocky. sure that's like a D and D. I realized that that's a D and D thing. I was like, what's, shit. What's that. Charlie's uh, passive quiet. perception? Uh, uh, Charlie's passive perception. Charlie's passive perception is uh, six successes. Six successes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, does Charlie believe it? Uh, no, I mean, I'm asking, uh, yeah. Cassandra. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and no. Okay. Oh, that's, that, that's really good. That's really good. If, if, if you, if you're not feeling good at any point, though, we, we can talk and stuff. It's really nice of you. Thank you. Yeah. Point of note, are you using the elevator to reach the 14th floor? Um, I would have suggested the stairs, or at least I would have asked to take the stairs. I would have requested for me to at least take the stairs. They can take the elevator if they want, but I want to take the stairs. I'll take the stairs when I'm complaining. <laughs> That's good. It's distracting from our conversation. <laughs> yeah. My um, feet hurt. You could have taken the elevator. There might have been goo in there. Or a whole werewolf. I hope not. You think they would keep the werewolf in the elevator? Why not? Did you check it? I'm never taking the elevator again. <laughs> uh, Charlotte, you have to stop complaining so much. So... <laughs> the odds of a werewolf permanently surviving in that elevator that size are statistically low. Statistically low. But as possibly. statistically low as special corn or lower? Surviving for more than a couple of days without coming out of the elevator is lower. It's lower. I would just keep the elevator shut for a few days and it'll be fine. Don't worry about it so much. But yeah, until then, then, I would prefer you not complain so much, Charlotte. Okay. Uh, let's get a... Fine. So I'm assuming Elena is taking point. Okay. Seems that um, way. <laughs> what would the marching order be from that point on? I feel like we're about to get into some shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody's passive perception? <laughs> like roll initiative, bitches. <laughs> shit. Um, I guess I, I was towards the back with Cassandra and Florence yeah. on my tail. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine it was kind of two and two. Yeah. Yeah. It's two and three. <laughs> All right. So as yeah. you reach the 14th floor, uh, you open the door. There's no actual window on the door, which seems kind of odd. So you, the, the door actually opens out towards you. And you open the door and you see not entire darkness there are lights that you can sort of see but through those lights you see a lot of spider webs oh, and it's no, at that point no. we're going to take a break nope. <laughs> <laughs> elena is like backpedaling <laughs> fuck no <laughs> should have stayed with the hacker <laughs> should have stayed with the hacker <clears throat> oh my god <laughs>
Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, well, there, there are cobwebs and webs and regular webs and giant webs and webs everywhere. Nope. I'm just gonna yeah. look, look over their shoulders. I, I, I don't want to. I'm not. I'm uh, down for no. not going on the spider floor. Sort of the, I, I strongly suggest that you just weld this door shut, and um, we are going next floor, please. Mm-hmm. I'll have Sandra. And I'm just going to start there. up the stairs. Up the stairs. <laughs> so I'm going to go. What the kind of closed. business did they do here with the werewolves and the I... spiders? I guess we're finding out. <laughs> So and you're going shut as we go. Yeah, you're going after. up to the fifteenth floor then. Mm-hmm. After closing the door to the fourteenth floor, <laughs> and maybe putting a chair in front of it. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't want to go. Very good idea. The is there a lock maybe on the outside? <laughs> there is no lock. If or an the, and there are button. surprisingly no chairs in the stairwell. It's it's um, improbable. It's improbable that the spiders can use the door knob, but if they can, then we have a bigger problem. Uh, they have no thumbs. Right, that's so why we're, we're just... greater. We're just going to close it quietly close and it. nicely and just close it. And we're good. Next floor. Next, next floor. floor. Next floor. Okay. Yeah, next floor. All right. Uh, you get up to the 15th floor. And when you open it, there is a large kind of green sign. It's backlit. Uh, and it says Pentex on it. Hey, look. It, maybe it is the people that we are. We I'm just, gonna re-close just... that door. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go in there, Charlie, I, and find I, out if maybe it is your friend? Uh, you, the you, big bad wolf? Uh, you, you, you may recall that I very, very specifically <laughs> called not it, uh, which under the parameters of the rule set means that it is not me that's doing that. Yep, we abide by those laws. It's no, it's going to end up being me. That's why we're going to have a talk later, he and I. No, he, I thought he was going to do it. You think that? It's going to end up being me, though. Oh. What is this building? Apparently, it's a death trap. I'm going if... to go at Charlie. Perhaps we relocate Alexander Industries. I mean, if they just wanted to kill me, why didn't they just kill me? I wouldn't have fought. Because it's more fun to do different little games. Is there's, uh, I've heard of this. There are TV shows or, or movies about this where you put people through different trials and see how far they get before they die. Oh, you think this is a TV show? So it might not actually be that bad. Uh, no, they they really die. It's just like a, a movie, and they they really really do die. But they, you if... put them through the trials to see how far they get, and then people take bets and see who wins the bets. And you know, it's just a, it's entertainment. Ah, it's not a TV show. It's a serial killer. Got it. Which channel are you watching? It's probably a high. I don't watch them. I'm just told of them. Harley tells me about them sometimes. If they die on the TV, do they die in real life? I think they die in real life first, and then it's on TV. Um. Yes. I'm gonna Harley go back downstairs, and I just I've turned around and I'm walking back down the stairs. <laughs> let's let's go back to the safe floor. <laughs> no, 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 Charlie, you don't want to see what is on the next floor. Okay. How so many there... floors are there? Yeah. How many uh, floors are there? <laughs> This is a uh, building that has 30 floors. All right, we're gonna be walking for a while. Um, we should find out at least what we are up, you know, getting into in this particular building so that we're not surprised later if something decides that they want to come downstairs. Elena. 30 floors is a lot of unknown. You wanna take bets on what's on the next floor? Oh, I'm, we could do that. That would I'm, be fun. See, you're getting the hang of it already. So I'm a bookie in my off time, and I can tell you that currently we are uh, two for two in horrible endings. So if we continue on those odds, then it goes very, very out of our favor uh, into death territory. But maybe the next floor will be a fairy floor. There's a thing called a gambler's fallacy, uh, Miss Charlotte, where you think that you've lost a whole bunch of times, and that means that you're definitely going to win the next time. The problem is that you're not going to win the next time. It's a lie that we tell them so that they can keep giving us money. Uh, And we don't have money that we're giving. We have a lifespan uh, that we're giving. 
All right, so here's the thing though, um, Charlie, is that we have to know what is on these floors. We need to know what yeah, but then, but everybody else on all the other 30 floors have access to the same stairwell and could come onto our floor. So Actually, how many people have we seen? I mean, we've got one floor of spiders and one floor of signs and not a desk to be found. There's Sandra on the 13th floor. Yes, there's Sandra. That's one in 30 floors. Um, it is still the possibility. We don't know if there are others that are upstairs. There could be. Um, if you're uncomfortable though, Charlie, by all means, you can help Harley. I don't mind, but you're gonna have to go back downstairs past the Pentec, the, the spider room, all of that by yourself. I'm not worried about that, but I'm, that means also leaving the three of you to go uh, alone and die. And I don't like that part, so. Oh, you're sweet. Sure. I'll just begrudgingly walk, <laughs> begrudgingly walk back up the stairs. <laughs> Progression. <laughs> Going to the sixteenth floor, then. I'm floor. such a bad influence. <laughs> Damn you, touchstones! All right, keep going. <laughs> uh, Charlotte, your feet are really not liking this. <sighs> but I was said I would stop complaining. Just take your shoes off. It'll be fine. And you open the door to the 16th floor, which I did not anticipate you going <laughs> far in the building. And it's the fairy floor. And it's the fairy floor. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> A fey floor would not be good. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Tiger, I've dealt, tiger. With change I've dealt with changelings in the world of darkness. Mm -hmm. Fey floor would not be good. No. This is where all the Fomori live. <laughs> if we open the Fey floor, I'm going back down to the Pentax floor. <laughs> seems legit. Uh, yeah, you open the door and it it just seems like a regular office building floor. Oh, so what what did that tell you? It is okay. We win. And I will proceed through. Uh, you I'm see not smart. <laughs> like a bunch of there's a bunch of plaques on the wall, like, you know, with arrows pointing which direction, like 1601, 160, oh, whatever. And it basically just looks like a bunch of, uh, uh, like, medical companies and, like, you know, just simple, like, courier companies, like, offices and stuff like that. Just doesn't, it doesn't seem like there's anything nefarious going on in them. See? All is well. Charlie, your odds were off a bit. That's one in 30 something floors. I'm just saying we found one. You found one. Now there's- Come on, a smile a little bit. It's all good. Go. No, no, <laughs> no. Well, now that we know that this entire place isn't haunted, you want to go to the roof? Yes, let's go to yes. the roof. We can see what the other doors say as we're going. What? We don't necessarily have to open them, but we can kind of just see. Are you going to the roof? Apparently. This will throw off their betting odds. I'm, I'm, texting, I'm texting Harley, <laughs> we're on the roof, question mark, <laughs> as we go up. Elena's <laughs> trying to kill me again. <laughs> um, I, I do text back uh, Kay, uh, giving Sandra my laundry list. I hit the jackpot. Let's touch base when you're done playing adventure. Harley will immediately get a text from Charlotte that says, how's the surfing? And then it's going to have a surfer emoji. <laughs> this is why we shouldn't give venture phones. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I text Charlotte back. Uh, hit the mother load boss. Thumbs up. That's why we pay him. Let's go to the roof gonna, and actually do work. <laughs> I'm going to tell them to send um, uh, to send Harley a message that um, if, if, if Harley is going to join us, please tell him to avoid the 14th and 15th floor, please. This would not oh. be good. I'll, I'll I'll respond to Harley's text about jackpot and with a thumbs up, and then just put a, a 14th floor 
spider emoji, 15th floor wolf emoji. <laughs> <laughs> um, a text back, 10 4. Um, if they're going to the roof, I've, I've kind of hit a dead end. I'm not going to try tackling all this data by myself. That's why Charlie gets paid what Charlie gets paid. Um, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to scribble a list of, uh, hardware that I'm going to want set up at a workstation, um, certain specifications, uh, for my workspace, going to give it to Sandra, um, and then I'm going to go to the elevator and take it. If it'll take me to the roof, that's where we're going to go. Otherwise, I'll go to the top floor and then find a way up onto the roof. Okay. Um, as He's going to eat their way before us. <laughs> as the adventuring party passes the 29th floor, Charlotte's feet are really sore. <laughs> and uh, the door, like, it's basically you go up one flight next flight you actually see the door to whatever floor you're on and then you know spare flight and then you go up the door as you go up to the 29th floor where that should be there's actually kind of not it's a little bit off like it doesn't look like a straight like red light but it looks like it look, doesn't look like the standard led lights are coming out from underneath the door No. Hmm. Very no, floor. No, no, no. no. Come on. It's no. glowing. It's pretty. How I'm just gonna are the it. two of you still alive? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have hardly. I don't know about Charlotte. Elena, I'm no longer afraid of you. I am now just in <laughs> awe of your lifespan. <laughs> we've we, we've 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 crossed over the hurdle. I don't really oh, look at that. I did it very well. Look, I was hoping that at some point I could manage to do something to convince you to not be so afraid of me anymore, because now we can actually be friends. No, now I'm just going to be worried that you're going to kill yourself at any given point in time. But we'll, oh, we'll like we'll, a good we'll, friend. We'll we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm gonna open the door. Glad you said that. <laughs> uh, it only you, go well. Yeah, you open the door, and it is nightmarish. Oh. You see what could possibly be the inside of a creature. You're not sure, but the walls and the roof, ceiling, everything, it basically just looks like meat. Oh, I love meat rooms. Do you want to explore it first? Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, I took off my shoes, and I don't want to walk on the meat floor barefoot. Um, so. Perhaps we should close the door now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to close the door. <laughs> <laughs> just close the door. Uh, 29th floor, meat room. <laughs> We're learning so much. You have a bad building. Bad building. You do really do. I, I would strongly um, suggest that uh, um, we relocate. I Perhaps that good bones. Situation. What was that, Charlie? Perhaps a work from home situation. I, I, I mean, but then you would never be able to see my pretty face. Yeah, where's your sense of community? <laughs> it's Back in the spider floor. Behind my sense of survival. Uh -oh. Bones. Meat got got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Funny, 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 funny. I try to be a funny <laughs> boss. Funny, funny. All right, Charlie. In all honesty, let's let's talk this out for a moment. See, mm. we have seen different floors. We have found that, that there are a few that are not grand, um, but we are still here. That's because we haven't gone into the scary floors. Because we're smart enough not to go into these scary floors. We just see what they are and then we close the door and don't worry about it again. Now we can put signs and like, you know, weld them shut so that nobody ever goes back into them again. That's a good benchmark. 
until ¿Sí? we until we open the the door to the reaches out and kills you floor. Oh, maybe the roof is just heaven. Yeah, because things have only been getting better as we've gone up. I think that the how, roof how, is how is how is that better? I'm just pointing at the the door to the meat room. How how I is would... that how is that better? All right, look it's in not. all fairness. Roofs are roofs. They go to the outside world. And so long as it is not daylight, I think we're going to be okay. I'm just well, I mean, look offices at the meat door don't again. usually go to meat. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking at the meat door again. I just go, I don't trust the roof to lead to the roof at this point. For all I know, it leads to the basement. All right, then you wait right here. And I'm going to just go open the, the roof door and see if it leads to the basement or to the I'm going to reach out and grab you and kill your room. How does that sound? But I would not stand in the exact line of sight because um, I'm going to open and kind of move to this side. So for, for Charlie, can I get a wits and awareness? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Three successes. Uh, as you pointed over to the meat floor room. Uh huh. Uh, you kind of glance over at it, and it the door kind of looks like it's going. Oh, it's breathing great. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, just continue to point and go. All right, you just wait over right here. I'll be right back. So the people who live in this building are Sandra and the meat room. Right. Do we just gonna investigate Sandra a little more. That's Maybe. not a bad idea. I'm Have you done a just... background check on her? She did seem very fine with that werewolf. I'm going to take a couple steps like down the steps, like <laughs> away from the meat door, further away from the roof door and the meat door. <laughs> I'm going to open the roof door. Uh, you Are you using any sort of potence to open the roof door? No. You cannot open the roof door. It really wants you to crush something. The roof I door is use locked. Potence then to open the roof door. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of figured you'd say that. Uh, that'd be a... <laughs> we get sucked out into the other space. <laughs> uh huh. And that's when the boulder started rolling down the stairs. <laughs> I'm no, not. Uh... I step out of the <laughs> worst <way>. building. <laughs> uh, strength and. All right, got it. Uh, um... Let's see, athletics maybe. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... uh, that is two and a crit. Two and a crit. All right. Uh, the door is not budging, even with potence behind it. Now I'm even more persistent about this. Charlotte, do you have a key? Do I have a key? Do you? Storyteller note, you do not have a key. <laughs> I don't have a key, but what I do have You have a Sandra. A I have a helicopter. And that, 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 that works as well. Um, we should do that. Let's do that. Downstairs now. <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> Why was it not to be here? That's I didn't take my me. I didn't take my helicopter to work. <gasps> you know what I thought just now? I think that perhaps maybe um, the, there are really shitty rooms here. So perhaps if we just got the whole thing out and then make a helicopter pad and then like the whole Batman cave that I that I read about where it, it just opens the roof and then we can fly out and do the whole Batman X-Men thing. I've seen these things in comic books. I'm going to look I at like these two. like it better than the spiders. I'm going to look at Elena and Charlotte. And then I'm going to look at Cassandra. And I'm just going to turn and walk down the stairs with my dog <laughs> behind me. Just, just very silently walking down the stairs. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> He might have the best idea right now. Yeah, we're all going back downstairs. Yes. I, as another storyteller note, I just want to find out who exposed the Lasombre to Batman. It was Harley. And find them. It was Harley. 
deal with them it's harshly. It's all Harley's fault. Anything Elena knows pop culture wise <laughs> is going to be Harley's fault. Where yeah. were the other drugs going? Yeah, into the meat room. I'm yeah. going back down to the third floor. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Uh, is everyone else proceeding down to the thirteenth floor? Yes. yes, we're going back down. Okay. Um, as you end your exodus through the various different <laughs> floors, I want to say, uh, of your new newly acquired building. Um, and uh, Harley would also notice this. Uh, the elevator door rings and then someone steps out with a amazingly well-tailored suit. Uh, they have a powdered wig on and they look, it's, it's amazingly stylish for about 150 years ago. This is back on our floor? Yeah. Okay. And uh, they walk up and they go to uh, Sandra because Sandra is the first kind of point of entry. And they go, excuse me, where would I find Cassandra? Is that your dad? <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm going... Do I know? Do I recognize this person at all? You do not. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know. If, uh, Cassandra. If... I'm going to lean over to Cassandra and be like, Cassandra, please uh -huh. tell me that that's not, not that, that, um, you know, times might be hard sometimes, but I would really hope that that's not um, your boyfriend because I understand the, the terms of the money, but that's a bit of, um, <laughs> Do you think that's my sugar daddy? I'm hoping that this is not. Not as far as I know. Good Hi, deal. I'm Cassandra. Not yet. Oh, excellent. And he completely ignores Sandra and he goes <laughs> over to Cassandra and he does the bow, but he, he is presenting you a letter in his hand and he does the, like the left leg kind of kicks out so he can get down extra extra far. I have a message for you from a Erasmus, I believe. Oh. Oh, thank you. And he's as soon as you take it, he's kind of like it, you know. Do I tip you or? Oh, that would be very appreciated. Thank no, you. No, you're not going to tip him. Go. <laughs> oh. Um. Sorry, we don't have any shillings. Oh, no, no. I have a, I have a great tip. Stay away from the um, um, what floor is that? The twenty ninth floor. All of them. Twenty ninth floor. Yeah. Don't go to any this... floor but this floor. Uh. Best leaving. tip I can oh, give thanks. you. Yes. Oh, come on, Charlotte, give him like a 10 or something. I'm sure you've got something in your purse. All right, here's a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, that's very appreciated. Thank you. And he like rushes off. I don't care you anything less letter. than a hundred. Uh, the, letter, the letter is kind of similar to the ones that you had gotten from Erasmus in the past. This one is kind of a have not seen you in a while. I would very much like the, you know, your to be within your presence, et cetera, et cetera. Lovey dovey. There's scented oils on it. You miss Raz. It's been a while. He hasn't been at the bar at all. Cassandra's just kind of talking to herself as she reads it. Is um boyfriend? That term's a little outdated. I'm oh, a little was, outdated, Eddie. if I'm to be honest with you. How did they know that you were here? <gasps> oh, that, that was my follow-up question. question. Because you didn't know that you were here until you got here. Well, as the door is closing, the <laughs> as the door is closing, all you hear is, "I went to the bar thing first. They told me to come here, and then it closes." 
That was worth a hundred. Sure. Cassandra, I hope I did not offend you a moment ago when I was asking about the what did you call it, the um, sugar daddy thing. That was no. not an offense at all. No, I'm, I was just I'm not simply offended. stating that you know. I I get it. Older men, younger woman. More. I've seen it. No, 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 no. Not older men so much. It's just you know. Out One in of a powdered this wig. Century older men is a little bit like. Hmm. Like age is just a number till it's three digits. Might be, yeah, a little bit maybe. Yeah. I mean, I could. I mean, just not that I think that you just never mind. Ignore me. It's what? like the Anna Nicole thing that I've seen before. <laughs> in the I think you call that slut shaming. How much television has Harley shown you? <laughs> I don't watch television. This was a tabloid, I think is what it's called. Oh, good literature. Oh, those are much worse than TV. I can't really watch TV so much. Is there anything of any, like import in this letter? Uh, no, it's just the standard, you know, nope. haven't seen you in a while, miss your presence. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Dabs of what you think could be tears or something, but you definitely know that Raz doesn't have tears. So I'm gonna gently fold it up and put it back in its envelope and put it in my purse very carefully and tenderly. All good. All good. Okay. No, no werewolves. No spiders. No meat. 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 Oh, the there was in a meat room. The 29th floor is alive. Mm -hmm. Like, literally alive. Also, we're better. locked in here and probably on a TV show where we're going to die. Um, better news, Harley, um, is that Charlie is no longer afraid of me. I don't know how we're she's making... still alive. We're making progress. She opened all of the doors. I did. <laughs> Everyone. If there was a door, she she touched it and she opened it. See, Not the last one. She tried many times. <laughs> so, all right, I, I'm Elena. You're gonna have to give me like the cliff notes later, especially about the the meat room. You don't want absolutely. Them. We'll exchange information. You don't okay. want. Okay. You had better luck. What what, what did you have? I, it, yeah. It how was your web scary. surf? Oh. Uh, um, I reach into my pocket and I pull out the flash drive <laughs> and I hand it over to Charlie. Um, you and I need to spend some time going over this. Um, there's a lot of data here. And um, storyteller, do I have a general gist of what the uh, information in there was? Uh, you have a general gist of it. Uh, it's basically, there's like a lot of financial transactions that are not making any sense even to you, but you know that Charlie, when Charlie is able to mm -hmm. kind of drill down the information, he'd probably be able to find where and when things are going off rails. Okay. Uh, more funny numbers, lots and lots of funny numbers. And I just, like all of the Pentex stuff was in, without getting too technical, it was, it was buried pretty deep and it was encrypted out the ass, but I've got, sorry about that. Um, I've got the whole directory there on that drive. So I figure you go through the numbers. I might be able to take a look at any research data that might be in there, any correspondence that might be in there. And between the two of us, we might be able to get this sussed out. Did you have any trouble hacking into the mainframe? Uh, no, when you're inside the mainframe to begin with, it's relatively easy. You just got to know where to look and know what to do. Good. Trust me, it's it was it was a cakewalk. You're. Your internal security here sucks, and I'm going to fix that. 
I'm, I'm gonna sure all of the security is the spider webs upstairs. I'm processing everything that Harley just told me with everything I saw earlier from like reading through the stuff and the Pentax thing and the shit security and just. San Sandra? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. She stands up. Like... Is this a shell company? Uh, I don't believe so. What was actually done here? Oh, we own a bunch of other companies. Mm, yes, and what do they do? Uh, various things. Uh, we're in pharmaceuticals. <laughs> we're in uh, military. We even have contracts with uh, uh, mining companies. Mm. And who? And we? And we own them. Uh, yeah, or and, majority stock in them. Yes. Right. And who owns us? Uh, Charlotte owns us. Who actually owns us? Like, who actually funds and processes the money for all of these business ventures? Yeah, it's all been transferred over to Charlotte. And before Charlotte, it was entirely... Uh, Alexander Devonshire. 100% no board of directors, parent company, majority shareholder using this company to launder money. No, so far as I know, he was independently wealthy. Everything feels really wrong here. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Everything feels um, really wrong here. Sandra, the military companies that you were talking about um, was one of their experiments spiders? Uh, spiders? No, no. What about meat rooms? Uh, you mean like we we own a meat processing plant? No, like uh, a, like a room made of meat. Is the company only this floor? Uh, so far as I know, we own the building. Uh, uh what is on the other floors? Uh, uh -huh. we, we actually rent out a bunch of other, bunch of the other floors to uh, different companies. To who? To Pentex. Uh, there's, there's hundreds of companies. Um, like Pentex. Yes. <laughs> she uh, leans Pentex, over. Pentex is one of them. Yes. She leans over to, um, Charlie and Harley and she's just like, we should probably find out what those other companies are. I don't, um, I, well, I rather, I do, I do think that that would be a much needed piece of information if you have a directory that'd be really great I'd just i'll add it to the things that i'm going over oh okay yeah i could probably get that to you uh for harley uh you definitely came across like that particular information with the amount of successes that you scored like it was easy enough to do like you that that could actually be part of your your deep dive that you pulled okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I will. I will leave that up to your discretion. I, as far as what all I found, and you can just fill us all in later. I know that was, yeah, a, a buku score. So, ST's discretion. <laughs> Sandra, are you a robot? Uh, no. Um, actually, I was gonna talk to you about that. I don't know who is going to um take care of my particular needs are you a ghoul it makes more yeah. sense than the robot oh yeah um Charlotte, it's, you it's, inherited the ghoul how it, pleasant it's, it's been a while since i've you know had the vampire jamba juice if you know what i mean <laughs> that's going to be all you charlotte you should um <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Charlie has just been hoisted on his own petard. You, you don't want me. You don't want me doing that. Uh, 
You don't want me doing that. That just means that she'll do all the stuff I want to do and none of the stuff you want to do. You want her to do all the things that you want her to do, so why don't you just do it? Everybody already? always does what I want them to do. I have money. But uh, <laughs> not mean... if you don't Google her. She could just walk away and you won't have a center anymore. Oh, it's going to make a mess. And Charlotte's, or uh, Sandra's kind of looking like she's like really kind of jonesing and she's like, well, everybody else did touch their nose. <laughs> I'll do it, but just do it quietly and not messily. But yeah, unless you want me to player. cut you. Yeah, yeah, just just don't mess up my clothes. Look at you being a team player, Charlotte. I'm so proud of you. You're doing fantastic. Lead by Can I give them a little bit of privacy? I'll just walk away with Cassandra, just away from this. I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that one just person who one wants to group. watch. She likes yeah. to watch. There's always that one. I like to watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are you gonna like bite your wrist, that sort of thing? Yeah. Just, yeah. She could gnaw on your wrist for a while, but it will take a while to get through the skin. Uh, and then, yeah, she drinks holds your wrist close to her mouth like oh thank god and she's like dribbling a bit like it's going on your shoes a little bit like <laughs> oh thank you oh this is great oh. shoes. <laughs> just gonna, I'll glance back and just look at Cassandra this is why I stick with Florence <laughs> and fair. Charlotte will go up one hunger Florence, Florence doesn't ask <clears> too <throat> much why I don't do that I will note At that. Florence. Um, never mind. I won't ask. It's fine. Hmm. And Charlotte hears the voice of her sire in the back of her head. What does Charlotte's sire sound like? Like a rich white guy. <laughs> <laughs> that I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte? Yes. You need to eat something. There's I know. A, there's this thing right in front of you. Take care of that. No, I'm not going to do that. I can control myself. Charlotte? You're not even my real dad. And on that note, this voice <laughs> kind of stops. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> in the games I run, if you sass the beast, it generally works a little bit better. <laughs> All right, Charlotte. Now, what are we going to do? What do you you? What do you um? What is your word? Um, what is our plan? I'm at your discretion. I feel like we need to look into exactly who is sending people at us. That would be a good start. I think that would be good. I can, I, cause I can look through all these numbers, but I can probably take a guess that they're going to be, this company spent a lot of money. It didn't make a lot of sense and they cooked the books a lot, but figuring out the why and why somebody wanted to kill you when you were the person in charge, instead of whoever was giving a lot of money out to people, that's probably going to be better because otherwise it's going to happen again and again mm -hmm. and again and again. Um, so um, we are in agreement now that who it was that you know broke into here, shooting the guns and such. Um, they were trying to kill Charlotte, and it was not me that they were actually after. They weren't trying to you know vengeful. Oh, I lost my job situation. It was all Charlotte, right? It could be you. Could be a nice little No, bonus. no, 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 Shh, no, no, no. We're in agreement to Charlotte, the director, right? I mean, Charlotte gave all of us the jobs, so process change. Awfully events. convenient that the hit See? happened the night that you took up residence here, ma'am. See? That's it's just, all your yeah, fault. Yeah. Within, within a couple of hours, actually. Um, I, I I do have um, I, 
I've, I've been picking up bits and pieces of your foray upstairs um, and the conversation with Sandra. So Pentex is renting out a floor here in the building. Number 15. Between now, the spider room and the normal room <laughs> and the meat room. Yes. Room okay. Uh, if you I, get to the meat room, you've gone too far. I'm, I, I'm, I think I'm going to have to probably take a look at the Pentex floor sooner or later. Um, do it out with that werewolf. No, that is I'll go not... with you. Stop doing that. <laughs> well, what did I do? Stop doing the running into the death thing. We'll see. No, I, Stop sorry. that. See, we, the, we're, we're kind of a bad influence on each other, I guess. It happens. But, um, it's a toxic relationship. I, what? You eat tabloids and she gives you death wishes? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> And work. comic books. Which yeah. one do you give the other one? Comic books. I give he her. Gives me yeah. Comic books. That makes sense. That now, explains the Batman. That makes sense. <laughs> there was a <laughs> there was a Batman reference, and I wasn't there. Is that how that worked? It'll probably keep happening. Great. Um, so it's a long story. Is the Batman the one with the cape? Yes. That doesn't narrow it down, but yes. Um, now the 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 Pentex floor did it look like it was in use or was it abandoned? We didn't go in. Didn't spend that much time at any of the scary rooms, um, especially not the main floor. Essentially, what has happened is we went to each room, and we opened the door. We saw what was inside of the door, and then we promptly closed the door. Specifically, the spider room. We suggest that we um we probably should weld that one shut with big signs. Or we could evict the spiders. You take care of that. Sandra will take care of that. <laughs> you have to do what I say. You're my fool. <laughs> I don't even have to pay you. <laughs> so, but no, there's. Uh, I mean, you could get exterminators. Yeah. I need big exterminators. The flamethrowers. I, I, I would like to propose that. That's we... about I did not do that. I, I hardly oh. told me about that when the person with the, 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 the fire and the house catches on fire. We don't want to catch this location on fire, do we? I would like um, to propose that we don't touch any of the other floors unless we have to because of the figuring out why there were guns coming mm -hmm. at us. For example, if they came from one of the other floors, that's a floor we want to go to. If they didn't, I don't want to go die there. Oh, that would be so um, convenient if they worked like upstairs and then they could have just swung down on their ropes and broke the window. Okay, so just one quick thing to say about that is we can't really find out um, if that was the case unless we actually go to the rooms and on that, check. On that note, uh, Storyteller, I don't know how efficient Sandra is with cleaning. Are the ropes still hanging from the window? I was the same thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like while while, while Elena is explain, explaining how we have to go like to the floors to figure it out, I'm walking over, holding onto the rope and just leaning out the window and seeing like how far up does it go. Oh, I'll uh, have him by the hand. From what you can tell, because uh, you're really good at math and figuring <laughs> these sorts of things out. And I'll kick on a heightened senses if you want for added bonus. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, give me a wits and awareness. Let's sure. go with that. Uh, Are you going to lean out and kind of uh, yes, because wait on the rope? Yes, because Cassandra said she was holding on it. to me. Well, yeah, I've got I'm trying to help hold. Yes, yeah, I'll help hold. <laughs> Okay, oh, good. The, the person belt. with points is helping. Good. Cool. Good. And with heightened senses, uh, that's going to be six successes. Six successes. Yeah. It's definitely the 29th floor. The oh. the, the ropes are coming from the 29th floor. Oh. The meat room. Oh, no. The meat room. The meat room. <laughs> the meat room. She calls. I will. I will lean back in and I will just let the ropes swing out and I'll go. It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> really, Charlie, what 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 floor? It's the meat room. It's the meat room. 
Oh, okay, so, so are we climbing or are we taking the elevator? No, no hold we're not on. climbing. Just, just a sec, Sandra. <sighs> who's the tenant leasing out the 29th floor right now? Uh, I, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm not, I'm not sure. You should go check now. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And then she's gonna go check. Look, I, and I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm, go ahead. I'm just doing mental math of like, how likely is this to be a Clive Barker situation? <laughs> Jesus wept. <laughs> well, is gonna walk over to Charlie and kind of um, walk her fingers along his uh, shoulder and be like, "Don't worry about it. It's not the spiders, and it's not the wolf." How much bad could happen? It's just a room. To be honest, we have a great track record against meat-based threats. Except the werewolf. Yeah, but it he's doesn't kind of count. sinewy and dripping with goo. And truth be told, he ran away when I when he saw me. So, so he was dripping with goo. And uh, Sander comes back fairly quickly and she's like uh, yeah that's a uh, pants save pharmaceuticals okay um have i uh i would like to roll to see if i know anything about that company or at least have heard of them uh intelligence and investigation okay I want to go to the meat room. <laughs> Charles, you perhaps you should just stay here and continue to run the numbers and um, you will be safe. I told you, I'll keep you safe. Don't worry. But Have then, I let you down yet? But then you guys will go to go up to the meat room and then what if you don't come back from the meat room and then that means that there's only me and the odds of me figuring all this out on my own are very low. And Three successes. Three successes. Yes. Uh, you know that that is a subsidiary of Pentex. Guys, <laughs> we've <sighs> fuck. We are in a world of hurt. Pentex owns Panacea Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> so why would they try and kill me before? Asking me for three hundred million dollars. So a Pentex-owned pharmaceutical company let in a hit squad from the people mm -hmm. that was working for the people that used to work here to put out a hit on Charlotte. Oh, when you mention people who used to work here, Sandra actually pipes up. She's like, "Oh, do you know who the people were that attacked?" They. Perhaps said they were employed by Devonshire. Uh, do, do you know their names? Jackson. I remember that one. Oh, Jackson, he used to be the head of security. Right. He's not happy I took his job. Probably Wait not. So maybe they just knew that was the easiest way to get in and a room that we would never be in. Yeah, uh, the security takes care of the entire building. I would always take the meat room. I've got dude's phone. Or at least one of the guy's phones. Oh, yeah. I have the other guy's phone. Oh, look at that. We have Ooh. two phones. What are you going to do please, about it? Please, They can call Hands each other. Um, could I attempt to get into one real quick? Intelligence and technology? With hacking, especially with hacking, that's a lot of dice. Yes, it is. So while and he's doing that, we have a lot of people that are all tied together in you want you dying, Charlotte. Yeah, I noticed that. That hasn't really been a problem before. It's a big problem. Now I don't know if the pharmaceutical company was in on it or if the security Wait. guy just went in there, but it's either bad or it's worse. Now I completely understand if you guys don't want to be on board this boat. It seems dangerous, 
but I will have you know I won't pay you for today. Or beg for your success. pardon? I'll be damned if you're not paying me for today. Well, then I guess you're going to have to stick around. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is why people sign employment contracts. Yep, you didn't sign any contracts. I just made I'm you name tags. I was supposed to be taking care of all of that for me. Um, four successes uh, mm -hmm. for, for Harley. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're e easily able to get into the phones. So much we're talking about, Harley. So much. Well, I'll, I'll take care of this. Uh huh. I. Pr I, I I promise right. I will take care mm -hmm. of this. You damn lights, you were going to take care of this. Yes, yes, I will. I want what they have. Still a better love story than Twilight. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh Lord. Anyways. What are you looking for in their phones? Um, I'm going through most recently called numbers. I'm looking for social media that the dumbasses would have left on the phone that there they brought is, with them onto a hit. There's no social media on the phones. Uh, okay. They basically to you, yeah, they look like burner phones. Okay. Uh, they're the last couple of calls are either are basically to each other. And then they're also uh, from a unknown number. So I can't, I can't redial the unknown number. You cannot. Not with these ones. Okay. Um, all right. So the phone's kind of a dead end, but uh, I'll see if I can get the SIM cards later when I have the time and do shit. Are we going to have to go back to the place that you were with the van? That's mm, probably our next jump. Yes, unfortunately. Well, I guess it would be better than the meat room. It would be better. Most things room. are. Most you things take a vote. No. No, no. Anybody who wants to go to the meat room? No. Can I can I vote for each? No. I I, I kind of want to see this. This is kind of I'm the meat room then. We'll go to the meat room first. We're already no. here. No, no, climb the rope. No, no, all in favor of going, all in favor of doing anything but that first. Raise your hand. I, I'm voting for both. And I will tell Florence. I'll tell Florence. <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> Florence. The most there. important vote. Florence is the, Florence Florence is the most actually important vote. Stands on her hind legs with both feet. All right, in the air. all right, all right, all right. So look, let's just think about this for a minute. Charlie, you're very good with numbers, and I very much so appreciate you and your ability to do that. But currently, we are already here. And the least we can do is just check it out. You don't have to go in. You can wait in the hallway. So that way, if we do die, you'll know, and you can just go home. Scream really loud. It's a bad plan. Um, it's a bad plan. It's a bad plan. It's a bad plan. It's a bad plan. No, uh, storyteller <laughs> question. What time of night is it? That was my next question. It's actually getting somewhat close to the time that you would have to find a place to sleep for today. Mm. It's a bad plan. It's a bad plan. It's a bad plan. Let's postpone. The sun is going to be up soon, and I don't want to be too far from home when that happens, especially if we get into trouble in a bad place either the meat room or that abandoned building Both, we can we we can maybe take some time each of us think about this rationally and we can maybe look at it fresh tomorrow when we've got a better understanding uh charlie um give me that usb key real quick and I'm going to uh, make a copy of it and hand him back the original that I gave him. All right. So there, well, that, that, way we, that way we both have a record just in case is we, we're not going to be able to do anything during the day. And the last thing that I would want to see have happen is if whoever's orchestrating this realizes that their plan didn't work and they go scorched earth 
and there's nothing to find tomorrow. On that note, we should probably be careful going back home, just in case. Which brings up another storyteller question, which would be, where is everybody going to go to sleep for the day? I'm going back to my apartment. Going back to Harley's. We have some things to discuss. Yes, we do. Ooh. I'll go home. And I'll be going to my brand new mausoleum, I guess. I'll see. I'll, I'll look at everybody. Go, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go home. Uh, you have my number. You still have. I'm to Cassandra. Do you still have my number? Is it the same number? Same number. Then yes. Okay. Oh, we should make a group chat. Okay. That's not. Send you all emojis. Um, uh, I I don't I don't really have a phone. Yeah. Uh, I'll 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 cover. For I'll her. buy you five. She can't. Oh. Mm. I might be able to use one of those little flippy, you know, the, 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 the little um, uh, the beeper the thingies. Yeah, but it's going to turn the group chat green, and I really hate when that happens. Uh, then never mind. I can't really do anything for you on that. <laughs> um, what the, the, you know, the, you want a walkie-talkie? You can call me all the time. <laughs> You no, can, but I could communicate with Harley a little bit better if I had a walkie-talkie. You can find the guy with the wig and the letters. I don't appreciate that so much. But then he can do the fancy presentation thing. But I don't appreciate. I don't want to do that. I'm not a Toriador, and even I thought that was gauche for him to show up like that. It was. I just. It was I mean, maybe might, a little much. I might be able to use the flippy phone thingies, and that might work a little bit. I just. That could Maybe. work. That could work. We'll 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 do a group chat thing and we'll Sandra her. buy her a razor. We'll get back in touch. It's, it's a, never mind. It's, it's a fine. Flip-flop. You can explain it to me later. We'll and, talk about it later. And you and I'm gonna point at Charlotte. You probably should have a talk with the person that gave you this company about the whole almost dying multiple times thing. You don't think he knows? I mean, bring it to his attention and see what he says. Might help to see if he does know and if he's really bad at lying. Yeah, it might be worth looking into. I was hoping to bury my head in some work and maybe start turning his company around, but I should probably take care of my life. Yeah. Um, Can you try not to die before we see each other again? That would be helpful. So far, I've only died once. I will. I'm, I'm more so meaning the second time, the one that is a little bit more permanent. I'll do my best. Okay. Good. You have. You still owe me money. I will not die until I've paid you. Good. We agreed then. And on the bill note, um, well, we're gonna cap off this particular episode as everyone goes back Yay! to their own havens. <laughs> that was super fun <laughs> yes it was <laughs> this was whatever could oh. go wrong <laughs> poor Charlie <laughs> meet room meet room why meet room correction meet floor <laughs> true true <laughs> Oh, poor Charlie. Hey, but hey, he doesn't hate, he doesn't, he's not afraid of Elena anymore. We are making progress here. <laughs> is he though? Is he There's a Jason Carl in the chat right now. And yeah. he's asking the exact same question I am, probably also sarcastically. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Hey, what could Jason, possibly go wrong? Hi, Jason. It? So glad you could make it. Uh, Yay, Jason Carl. Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to do a quick round table, uh, letting everybody know what their stuff is, uh, where they can find them. And let's start with Brennan, which I think I have a command for that. i do it real quick. I'm Brennan. You can find me at Great Black Otaku on Twitter and on all those links. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just threw the links in the chat. All right. That's, that's um, so easy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Let's slide it on over to Zach. Hey, I'm Zach Rivaldo. Uh You can find me Tuesdays on ATL by night. Uh, we're in our off season, uh, but next next week, uh, this upcoming Tuesday is our postseason interview, and I'll be on that with one of my co-stars. 
Uh, apart from that, you can find me here and in Twitter and Instagram and everything else that Steve put in the chat. I think I'm probably going to deal with my standard uh, buddy cop question for that one. Uh, let's slide it over to Sam. Hi, uh, I am Samantha McLarty. You can find me at just S. McLarty. Um, whatever the links are. Yeah, there we go. Links yeah, there. in the in the chat there. I thought it was um, just Sam, but apparently it's for Samantha. So yeah, I see that. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, yeah, um, you can find me at those links, uh, and I am will be soon doing some things with uh, Martlet Games, which is going to be a fun little fun thing. I'll add that link later. Um, but other than that, you can find me here at this with this lovely coterie mm. of all kinds of fun things and bickering. <laughs> And <laughs> speaking of bakering, potentially let's go over killing to Harley. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag meat room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, hi, I'm Patrick Gill, I'm the uh, creative director over at Martlet Games. Um, links in the chat. Uh, we've we're finishing uh, re uh, recording a, a little mini chronicle right now. Uh, Sam uh, came along with very little persuading involved and uh, we've brought her into the fold. Uh, we've got big, 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 huge, exciting, fun things that we will be rolling out. Um, looking forward to that V5 companion. We've got plans for that. But anyways, that'll be later. I am looking um, forward to these plans. Mm -hmm. But um, right now on our Twitch, we mostly just kind of do some you know, shoot the breeze kind of stuff. And there's a doggo. Um, we're uh, one of our people. She's playing through the uh, she's playing through Bloodlines one doing commentary or I'm playing the game. She's doing the commentary for it and fun times. And let's slide it over to Lex. Who I think has a doggo there. Yes. No, oh, he's left. Um, I'm Lex, and that was Beckett. Um, he doesn't have the social media, but you can find me online at uh, <laughs> Redhead Vixen and all of the other uh, links that are getting posted right now. And there they are. And I am Storyteller Steve. If you can't figure out how to get here by now, I can't help you. But if you want more vampire adventures, uh, come over to Vancouver by night, which is on the Twitch. Uh, tomorrow, at the same time, I'm going to see if I can put it in the chat. Well, there we go. All right, I don't even have to put it in the chat. Uh, yeah, so uh, check us out tomorrow. We are going to be on our regular time. We are winding down our season, which should have some special guests near the end. Uh, and we get to find out how Erasmus, which is Cassandra's boyfriend or something, I don't know, that there's a connection there. Uh, deals An outdated with, term. Yeah, <laughs> deals with it, deals with their with their coterie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> being the Barons of Richmond, which is going on separately from this one, but they they may interact and collide at some point in time, maybe. Collide. I'd help them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, everybody uh, who is part of this coterie, because you guys are all awesome. I, like, regularly have to hit mute so I can laugh my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, part of the reason why I love these guys is because they keep putting hashtag meat room in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be so, on a shirt by the end of the year. Yeah. On that note, uh, we're probably going to raid some other vampire people, see if there's anybody playing the vampires or the world of darkness stuff. Let's see. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Ooh, there's two uh right so we will head head over to them hang on everybody we're gonna raid so thank you for attending and be safe and protect the masquerade